In the thrilling world of lottery wins, not every story ends in celebration. This is a gripping tale of a couple who experienced just that, a stolen dream. Let's explore the true story of their stolen lottery ticket, a real-life drama that unfolded in the courtroom of Judge Judy. In the serene backdrop of Sandy, Oregon, Mr. and Mrs. Purcell's routine day transformed into an unexpected adventure with a simple decision, purchasing a lottery ticket at their local bar. On February 20th, 2016, they stepped into their familiar haunt, not knowing that this visit would mark the beginning of an extraordinary saga. With a sense of hope and a dash of excitement, they spent $20 for 20 games on an 8-spot Kino ticket, a familiar ritual in their lives. The Purcells were seasoned players in the lottery game, having experienced the highs of victory and the lows of defeat. We've won a couple for about that amount. Mr. Purcell recounted to Judge Judy, referring to previous wins of around $600. These moments of triumph, though modest, were significant enough to fuel their continued engagement with the lottery, blending hope with entertainment in their daily lives. As they selected their numbers and exchanged cash for the ticket, little did they know that this would lead them down a path of unforeseen complexity and challenge. This ticket, which began as a symbol of hope and possibility, soon became the centerpiece of a dramatic turn of events, a narrative that extended far beyond the typical anticipation of a lottery result. It wasn't just a chance for a big win, but the onset of a tangled tale of loss, investigation, and a pursuit for justice, transforming an ordinary purchase into an extraordinary story. The Purcell's moment of triumph began with a routine check of their lottery ticket at a local Did You Win machine. The message, You're a winner, please see your retailer, sparked a surge of excitement. At the bar where they had purchased the ticket, the bartender, serving as their witness, scanned the ticket to confirm the win. Since the prize was over $600, the exact amount wasn't immediately disclosed. However, after checking the numbers, they discovered they had matched 7 out of 8, winning $1,750. The win was a moment of pure joy and celebration for the Purcells. They had played the lottery numerous times before, experiencing both wins and losses, but this particular victory was special. It wasn't just the amount, which was substantial compared to their previous wins, but the realization that their persistence and hope in playing the lottery had finally paid off in a more significant way. The couple celebrated their good fortune, reveling in the excitement and the promise of what this win could mean for them. The next day, still riding the high of their win, they took practical steps to claim their prize. They obtained a claim form from the same saloon, and Mr. Purcell carefully filled it out. In a meticulous move, they even took a picture of the winning ticket, a decision that would later prove to be crucial. They sent out the claim form the following day, eagerly anticipating the arrival of their prize money. This moment of victory, however, was the precursor to a series of events that would turn their joy into a complex battle for their rightful winnings. Little did they know, this win was the beginning of an unforeseen journey that would lead them far beyond the simple pleasure of a lottery victory. Now, let's dive deeper into the moment of celebration and the meticulous claim process undertaken by Mr. and Mrs. Purcell. After realizing their lottery win, the Purcell's reaction was one of sheer joy mixed with disbelief. Celebrated, Mrs. Purcell recalled during her testimony, succinctly summing up the immediate aftermath. But this initial euphoria was just the beginning. They promptly took the next crucial steps to secure their prize. They returned to the very bar where their lucky purchase was made to obtain a claim form. Mr. Purcell, with methodical precision, filled out the form in his wife's name. We put the claim form in my name, Mrs. Purcell explained to Judge Judy, highlighting the importance they placed on every detail. Importantly, they took a photograph of the winning ticket. This wasn't merely for sentimental reasons. It was a practical, forward-thinking move. He even took a picture of the ticket, Mrs. Purcell stated, illustrating their thoroughness. This photo would later become a pivotal piece of evidence, affirming their claim to the winnings. 
The completed claim form, accompanied by the photograph of the ticket, was then dispatched, supposedly setting in motion the final steps to receiving their windfall. However, this process, ordinarily a formality, was the start of an unforeseen journey into legal complexities and moral questions. This phase of their story, while filled with initial excitement and careful attention to procedure, foreshadowed the challenges that were about to unfold. Unbeknownst to them, their journey to claim their rightful winnings was just the beginning. In the gripping narrative of the Purcell's missing lottery ticket, the unfolding events took a disconcerting turn. As the days stretched into weeks without any word from the Oregon Lottery headquarters in Salem, the Purcell's initial elation transformed into deep concern. Mrs. Purcell recalled, We waited the two weeks that they tell you to wait. On the 15th day, I called down there. Her voice tinged with anxiety as she explained how the absence of response signaled a red flag. This unnerving silence suggested a grim possibility. Their ticket, representing a significant win, might have been stolen. Their suspicion was rooted in experience. Having previously won and claimed smaller amounts, the Purcells were well acquainted with the lottery's standard procedures and timelines. The atypical delay in receiving their prize was not only unusual but also alarming. Mr. Purcell, reflecting on their past lottery experiences, noted, We've lost a few, too, hinting at the familiar ebbs and flows of lottery play, but this situation was starkly different. The couple stood at the precipice of an unforeseen investigation, contemplating the potential theft of their ticket. This marked a dramatic shift from what was initially a stroke of good fortune to a complex conundrum, shrouded in mystery and suspicion. The Purcells were now embarking on a quest for answers, determined to unravel the mystery of their missing ticket and to seek justice for what they rightfully believed was theirs. In their quest to uncover the truth behind their missing lottery ticket, the Purcells took decisive action. They first reached out to the Oregon Lottery Office, seeking an explanation for the unprocessed claim. Mrs. Purcell's conversation with the officials was fraught with concern. We waited the two weeks that they tell you to wait, she recounted, highlighting the growing unease they felt. The lack of a response from the lottery office raised significant alarm bells for the Purcells. Realizing they needed more concrete evidence, the couple filed a public records request, a critical step in their investigation. This wasn't a mere formality. It was a targeted move to uncover who might have cashed in their winning ticket. Somebody stole our ticket, Mrs. Purcell asserted, her words reflecting a mix of betrayal and determination to seek justice. This pursuit of public records was a demonstration of their resolve to get to the bottom of this mystery. The ticket wasn't just a piece of paper for them. It symbolized their hopes and the trust they had placed in the fairness of the lottery system. As they waited anxiously for the results of their request, the Purcells braced themselves for the possibility of confronting the individual who had taken what was rightfully theirs. This phase of their journey was marked by a mix of apprehension and the unwavering pursuit of what they believed to be right. The revelation from the public records was a turning point in the Purcells' pursuit. The records unmasked Mr. Linwood as the individual who'd cashed their winning ticket. This discovery propelled Mrs. Purcell to confront him directly on Facebook, a confrontation that would prove to be revealing. Their Facebook exchange was critical. Mrs. Purcell's initial messages were straightforward, seeking an explanation and the return of their winnings. Mr. Linwood's responses, however, were erratic and inconsistent. Initially, he implied that the ticket was a gift, but later his story shifted, suggesting he was asked to cash the ticket on behalf of someone else to avoid child support issues. This inconsistency in Linwood's story only deepened the mystery. Each message seemed to add another layer of complexity to the situation. Mrs. Purcell, driven by a mix of frustration and determination, continued to press for clear answers. But the more Linwood responded, the more convoluted his account became, leaving the Purcells grappling with more questions than resolutions. The Purcells' resolve to claim their stolen winnings only intensified amidst this murky exchange of messages. The situation had evolved from a simple case of a missing lottery ticket to a tangled web of deception and conflicting stories, with the Purcells firmly at the center, fighting for what was rightfully theirs. In the electrifying courtroom atmosphere, presided over by the formidable Judge Judy, the Purcells laid out their case with precision. They recounted the sequence of events. 
From the excitement of purchasing the ticket at a local bar to the bewildering disappearance of their prize. Their narrative included the Facebook exchange with Mr. Linwood, which was rife with inconsistencies and evasions. Mr. Linwood's testimony stood in stark contrast to the Purcells. Under Judge Judy's meticulous questioning, his account unraveled. Initially, he claimed the ticket was a gift, yet later he changed his tune, alleging he was asked to cash it for someone else. Judge Judy, with her characteristic incisiveness, probed deeper. Just tell me why you think that he would call you instead of discussing it with you in person, she questioned Linwood. His responses only served to cast further doubt on his credibility. The courtroom drama reached its peak as Judge Judy sifted through the conflicting stories. Her interrogation was relentless, laying bare the inconsistencies in Linwood's narrative. You see, and you came together, and you two are so stupid you can't even get your stories together," she remarked, cutting through the obfuscations. Ultimately, Judge Judy ruled in favor of the Purcells, delivering a verdict that underscored the value of honesty and integrity. The judgment was a triumph of justice, bringing closure to a case mired in deceit and ambiguity. In Judge Judy's courtroom, Mr. Linwood's account presented a convoluted tale riddled with contradictions. Initially, he asserted that the lottery ticket was a gift from his father-in-law, Mr. Richard. Under the penetrating scrutiny of Judge Judy, his narrative began to crumble. Linwood then shifted his stance, suggesting that he was actually asked to cash the ticket to assist Mr. Richard in evading child support payments. This flip-flop in his story raised serious questions about his credibility. Adding to the confusion, Mr. Richard contradicted Linwood's claims, insisting that he had gifted the ticket to Linwood. This statement led Judge Judy to express skepticism about the possibility of their stories, given the circumstances. So why would you think if he was living with you, he would discuss that with you over the phone? She questioned Linwood pointedly. The courtroom drama intensified as Judge Judy dissected the testimonies. Linwood's changing story and Mr. Richard's conflicting account weaved a complex web of deceit. You see, and you came together and you two are so stupid you can't even get your stories together, Judge Judy remarked, highlighting the absurdity of their inconsistent narratives. The inconsistency in Linwood's story coupled with Mr. Richard's testimony complicated the case further. The conflicting stories added layers of intrigue, leaving Judge Judy to unravel the truth amidst a tangled mess of claims and counterclaims. This courtroom battle, marked by a series of shifting stories and dubious claims, showcased the challenges in discerning truth in a maze of deception. In the tension-filled courtroom, Judge Judy's verdict marked a decisive conclusion to the Purcell's ordeal. She ruled in their favor, awarding them the disputed sum of $1,750. This verdict was a culmination of a thorough examination of the evidence, including the wavering accounts of Mr. Linwood. Judge Judy, with her characteristic clarity, underscored the significance of truth and integrity, especially in cases involving financial stakes like lottery winnings. The aftermath of the verdict was profound. For the Purcells, it was more than just a financial victory. It was a restoration of justice and a testament to their perseverance. On the other hand, for Mr. Linwood, the outcome served as a stark reminder of the consequences of dishonesty. The case, with its twists and turns, highlighted the unpredictable dynamics of legal disputes and the indispensable role of credible evidence and testimony in securing a just resolution. This saga in Judge Judy's courtroom offered a compelling narrative about the pursuit of justice in the face of deceit and the triumph of integrity over fraudulence. In this real-life courtroom drama, the Purcell's joy of a lottery win turned into a complex legal battle due to the theft of their ticket. This case also emphasizes the importance of legal awareness and the value of evidence in seeking justice. Ultimately, it serves as a cautionary tale, illustrating how unexpected turns can occur even in moments of great fortune, and the importance of being vigilant in protecting one's rights and assets.